Here's just a couple things in Maya that I wanted to show that um, I've kind of recently noticed that I've never paid attention to, so I'm not quite sure what version of Maya they started popping up in. But I think it's pretty awesome. There's a drag and drop feature now in Maya. So if you have OBJs that you've already created, you can literally just drag them into the viewport. And then they'll load in there, depending on the size of the object. So here you can see it loaded in. And then because it's World Machine, I just need to rotate it in uh, 90 degrees. So you can do the same thing with the shaders as well, bringing in files. So here I have something like uh, Megascans textures that I've brought in. You can do the same with textures.com or your own textures. Instead of doing the shader file load setup properties, what you can do is the same kind of drag and drop. And what's nice about this is it's making your connections already for your shader. So you have your Place 2D, your Albedo, so you could literally, if you know what um, levels of your shader you want, so if you want your normal map, it's going to already be brought in here. Let's say Roughness. So then now if we maybe do an Arnold uh, Standard Surface Shader, and then you can just easily hook up these uh, textures that we've brought in. So if we bring this over, let's say hook up the albedo to our base color. Uh, maybe do the roughness and then hook it up to our specular color. Uh, and just break this out so you can pick a channel. And then just link it in. And then it's as easy as that. And then we just hit render and just see what we're going to do. Bring in the uh, sky dome and then just do a test. So let's just click render and then here you go. So it's just a little bit of a speed flow enhancement.